when they look under the microscope and they see what something looks like, whether it's a, a piece of their hair or just even a little piece of paper, they're always amazed and their reactions um, when they see that. And they always say, um, Ms. Undergrove, come, come look, see what we found. I love teaching kids science because they, uh, most kids um, are curious about it. It's something new, it's something real world that goes on and so they might um, get up and brush their teeth every day but they don't always think that that's a chemical reaction happening in their mouth. So with the toothpaste and the water mixing, you know, there's science going on and so one of the things that I work really hard to do is just teach them all year long that science happens everywhere, at home, at school, at the grocery store, I mean everywhere, it's all around them. Ms. Updurgrove is definitely an enthusiastic person and she's always trying to get you engaged into what you're learning about and she's always creative and fun and trying to find something fun for you to do but also knowledgeable so you can learn. Since this is my first year here I didn't really know anybody and people had said that she was tough and then so I got a little bit intimidated but like after the first week I realized it wasn't that bad and that she's just a teacher that likes to teach. So when I'm planning my lessons I'm thinking about um, the basics that they need to know as a seventh grade science student, but then taking that a little further so that they're um, expanding their minds and they're thinking about um, critical thinking and harder type questions and different situations. And so I want them to push themselves, but not be um, so hard that they make a bad grade because a lot of them are very concerned about they want good grades and I want them to be successful, but I also want them to, um, you know, meet those high expectations and learn what they need to learn. Success to me for a seventh grader is a lot of things. It's, um, yes, it's science and I'm teaching them that and I'm wanting them to learn a little more about that. But to me, more importantly, is life skills. They're learning how to work in a group, um, teamwork in their lab groups. Um, they're le learning how to treat one another, you know, how to make sure they're in a safe classroom and in a safe lab. Um, they're learning organization, you know, a lot of skills that I feel like they're going to need for the rest of their life, not just in seventh grade. I do believe she cares in uh, me and other students because we have a question, she's right there to answer it. We have to tell her something, she's there to listen. As we're getting those new teachers in the door, I know I have somebody like her that can be that mentor. And it doesn't even have to be the same subject area to be a good mentor for a new teacher. It's a hard job. And having that person that can help you understand how to build those relationships, because building relationship is is 90% of what we do. It's not just the teaching of content, but how to build those relationships. If she had been one of our generals, we would win every war. <laughs> We'd win every war that we've ever been to, you know? She's that good. Just every small detail is taken care of, you know? That type of attention detail is, is not common, you know? It's probably one of the rarest uh, things there is, and, and she's good at it. She should have my job. Seriously, she should have my job. She's that good. You know, I didn't grow up in GP, but I've kind of transitioned into a Wildcat and um, I've loved it. You know, I've had um, two kids that have graduated that are GP uh, graduates. And so um, it's really, um, I, I, I love it. I mean, we just strive for excellence. We just continue to, um, you know, look at uh, different things, different options, you know, just different things to make sure our students are successful, our teachers are, are successful and happy and everybody, you know, enjoys coming to work. Um, you know, we have great leadership. We have, uh, you know, here at the middle school, we have great administrators central. We've got people that, um, you know, have vision that can, um, you know, push us to where we need to be. Even if we don't know where we need to be, they continue to push us along and that's awesome.